So ways to make money in today's markets. I'm just going to touch on these things briefly because all you guys know all this stuff is pretty basic, but it's worth a reminder. List right. Be the best price on the market, like I just said. That is critical. Those of you that don't have the skills to list properties correctly, you're going to get run over. You need to learn the skills. You need to ask. The people. There are people in this organization that know how to list property right. We can help you with that. Be aggressive with price reductions. You are not doing anyone a favor by not adjusting the price to cause the property to sell if they need to sell. You're not doing yourself, the buyer, the seller, any buyers out there. You're not doing anyone. If you're wasting a lot of time, and how do I know that? I wasted a lot of time. I had a lot of overpriced listings at one time. A lot. Until somebody taught me that there's a different way to do it. I paid attention. Work with qualified sellers and buyers. Motivation. Whether you're buying or selling, motivation is everything. You guys hear this out of my mouth ad nauseum. I mean, it's just, it is true. Motivation will overcome everything else if there's enough motivation. So we learn how to work with qualified buyers and sellers. We learn how to qualify them as motivated. So those of you who are not so sure about your skills in this area, there are people in this room that do it really well. I'm one of them. I can help you with this stuff. I can, I can really truly help you with this stuff. So we've got to work with qualified sellers and buyers. We've got to buy distressed properties, being aggressive with the purchase price. And Powerhouse a couple years ago, we could pick up acquisitions and even if we made a mistake the day we bought it, three months later, we were geniuses. The market's not like that anymore. Today, if we don't buy right today, three months from now, from now, we're taking a big hit. We're taking a big. We could take a hit today if we're not really careful. We've got to be extra careful today. So there's buying distressed properties. There's the pre-foreclosure market. That is an art and a science unto itself. There's some people in this office that are experts at the pre-foreclosure market. We can help those that are not become that. There's the post foreclosure market, REOs. I'm telling you, in a couple, in, within the next 6 to 12 to 18 months, there is going to be REO de departments, real estate owned departments in banks that are flush with properties and they're dying to get them off the books. There's going to be opportunities for bulk sales, bulk, pur bulk pur purchases, and banks will be way more paying attention to what we have to offer than they are today. Things change. Banks realize this, but banks are dealing, they're, they're, see, I, as an individual, can look at a situation and I can change like that. A bank has got to go to the committee. They're not, they don't have the ability to change like that. So it is a process. We've got to be patient with that process while the bank's going on. We've got the short sale situation. How many listings do we have in this office that's involved in short sales? Most of them. Most of the people that are motivated to get out from under their encumbrances are, you know, are in a position where they're upside down on their mortgages. They need to get out. They want to get out. They feel trapped. They're over encumbered. They're stressed. They are totally willing to walk away with nothing. The whole thing is to convince the bank to walk away with less than what's rightfully owed to them. So that's an art and a science into itself. As some of the people in here that have become experts in the short sale uh, division of this, of this business, they can explain to those who aren't. Discounted notes, all kinds of opportunities in that, and that's worth a, a two-day seminar right there. Being creative with purchases, knowing how to be creative. When I was a listing agent, I had a listing, I remember, I'll never forget this, in Highland Park, and somebody called me up, and I'm at my desk, somebody called me up waiting for an order to come in, and somebody called me up and said, uh, this is so-and-so, I'm an assistant to so-and-so who is an investor, he's interested in your property over there on Main Street. I said, great, what would you like to know? Would your seller be interested in selling that property subject to the existing mortgage? I said, absolutely not. And don't ever call me with that question again. Hang up. Now, why did I do that? Didn't know. I didn't know what the hell this guy was talking about. <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea what he meant by taking the, the, buying the property subject to the existing mortgage. And I didn't want to admit that I was stupid or ignorant. I didn't. I was so totally embarrassed because I didn't know what to say. Now I know what to say. So it's easy. <laughs> the key is. The answer would be the same. First of all, <laughs> all of these things are, are all you guys experts, or at least way above average of average competence in all these areas. If not, why not? Why not? You should be and you could be. 
And you can be if you pay attention. You can be. Absolutely. Aristotle announced, and NASA said, I mentioned this quote yesterday to some of the people, the secret to business is to know something that nobody else knows. Let me think of an example of how, if you knew something that nobody else knows in this business, why that would be an advantage to us. How many times have I told you guys that our best deals, when, when Mel and I used to go out, and Jimmy and some of the people that started with us used to go out looking for ugly houses, we would find properties that weren't on the market and talk to these people. We've done the same thing with commercial properties, multi-units, I mean all kinds of properties. Properties that aren't on the market, they don't know they're for sale until we talk to them and suggest that they are for sale. You know, when you're the only one talking to a seller, nobody else knows about it, do you have a better chance in doing business with those people? You better believe it. Absolutely. So the secret to business is to know something that nobody else knows. Who wants to sell, but also how? All the things I just mentioned, that whole list of different techniques, of different types of sales, purchases being creative, all that pre foreclosures, foreclosures, trustee sales, short sales, price reductions, listing right, all those things is a knowledge and skill set that we all need to have. It truly is. Mindset is key. We've got to, first of all, We've got to believe in the possibilities. There's a lot of uh, real estate offices out there. That all they can do is stand around the coffee machine or the water cooler and bitch about the market. The market's this, oh, how about them prices? And what about those interest rates? And what are the Republicans doing? What are the Democrats doing? And the short sales and the banks won't listen. And the buyers, they're unreasonable. And the sellers still think, and this and that. And, uh, you know, that's all BS. It's all a bunch of crap. There are still possibilities, and there's still potential opportunities to go out there and find people that need to sell and need to buy, period, end of story. You find those people, and you as a competent professional, skillful and confident, confident professional, will attract those kinds of people like flies to hunt, if you have those qualities. So mindset is key. You've got to believe in the possibilities regardless of the market. You've got to believe in yourself. Increased knowledge equals increased confidence equals increased opportunities without fail. It'll never fail. We gotta know, guys. We gotta know. A willingness and a desire to go to work is important. Are you willing to learn the skills? To learn about short sales, pre foreclosures, REOs, trustee sales, discounted notes, creative financing. Are you all willing to learn about that? Not just learn about it, but become really, really good. To become so good that no matter who you're talking to, they're thinking on a conscious or subconscious level, holy cow, this person can help me. My search is over. I need to let this person help me. We can get there with the right kind of confidence and skills. We can get there. The important thing is this, and I'm going, to be, I'm going to be pausing here for a moment, but the important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what we are, the agent we were a year or two ago, or the real estate professional we were a year or two, a year or two ago, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what we are for what we could become. That's what's important. Either you decide to stay in the shallow end of the pool, or you go out in the ocean. And if you're going to go out in the ocean, you better be able to swim. But we cannot discover new oceans until we have the courage to lose sight of the shore. We can show you how to, how to look at new horizons and what to do with those horizons as you're coming upon them. That's what we're here for. And hopefully that's what you guys are here for. So that's what change is all about. Those are some of the things that we need to consider in our careers. In the business that we've chosen for ourselves, the life we've chosen for ourselves, this is a very important part of it. You know, by making the changes, by becoming the people we want to become, we can have the life we want to have. But that's what has to happen first, the becoming, the being, before the doing and the having. we got to be. Okay? Thanks very much.